I'm Adelina Tanshoko from Surrendered Healing. I'm really grateful to be able to walk you through a grounding meditation today. During this pandemic that we're in, it's so important to pause, take a moment to breathe, bring down your anxiety, um, and to really just breathe in peace. I know that there's a lot of fear out there and I know that there's a lot of reason to have the fears that we have and yet I also know that there's a space within us where we can still tap into that is calming, that is guiding, and that is peaceful. And so I invite you right now to just give yourself permission. Give yourself permission to go there. I give myself permission to take these couple of minutes to breathe. I give myself permission to feel peace, right? So take that in and join me. Let's go ahead and get into a comfortable position with your feet either flat on the ground or cross-legged and with your palms face down on top of your knees. Gently close your eyes. And we'll start by taking three deep conscious breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. Take a deep breath in and out. And in and out. And in. And out. Bringing your attention to gratitude. What we think about grows. So when we focus on gratitude, when we focus on gratitude in the midst of chaos, not as a spiritual bypass, but as an opportunity to dive even deeper then we can expand on the blessings that are here. Thank you. Thank you for waking me up this morning. Thank you, your higher self, your higher power, whatever you call that energy. Just take a moment right now thanking life for living through you. You woke up this morning and not everyone did. There's something for you to do today that's different than yesterday. And that's why you woke up. What a blessing. I am grateful for having woken up this morning. I am grateful for the health that I am in. You want to just be grateful wherever your health is. Let's just be grateful for that. You're still breathing. I am grateful for the love in my life. So take a moment now and just... Scan your life. Where in your life has love surfaced? Whether that was through a post that somebody sent you, or a message, or a phone call, or a smile. Who in your life are you grateful for? Try to bring one person to mind specifically. Thoughts are real things. So send them a gratitude of acknowledgement. Thank you for blank, whatever they did, or whoever they are to you. Thank you for being someone who I know believes in me. Thank you for that random text that you sent me. Thank you for being you. Whatever the case is, thank them. And now bring your attention to yourself. What is one thing that you are grateful for that you have given yourself in these last few days? Maybe you're grateful for taking that nap. Maybe you're grateful for reaching out to that other friend and checking in on them. Maybe you're grateful for choosing to cook a meal that brought you joy. Whatever the case is, go ahead, go ahead and give yourself that gratitude. 
Beautiful. And now checking in with your ancestors. We each come from a lineage of courage, a lineage of strength, a lineage of resilience. So right now, think of an ancestor. Think of their story. Their story of strength. Thank them for their courage. Thank them for their strength. Thank them for their resilience. And now breathe knowing that that same strength, that same courage, that same resilience is inside of you right now. They went through whatever stories and hardships and challenges that they've gone that they went through giving you the strength to get through this now grounding in your i am's when we say i am it really hones in on our highest self i am i am strong enough to get through this I have resilience to move past my fears. I am resourced. I'm closing with what I consider to be the strongest I am. And this is a practice I learned from a curandera and a uh, Korean activist. Two different people um, have taught me this and I've adapted it such. It's a practice to bring your spirit back into your body. Often we leave parts of ourselves all over the place. That's when our brains are scattered and where our mind is everywhere, right? So we leave parts of ourselves with our loved ones or at work or in the car or dwelling about the past or worrying about the future. And so you want to bring your entire spirit back into your body to heighten your immune system, but more than that, to realign yourself with your higher power because your higher power knows what you need to do in every moment to stay healthy, to stay protected, and to spread love. So with that, I invite you to say, I am, and then your entire name, and I am here. Once again, as an example, I am Adelina Nicole Tonshoko, and I am here. Go ahead and do that with your own name. Feeling your spirit come back into your body. Feeling that warmth, that wholeness. And now saying aloud after me, I am present. I am blessed. I am deserving of my own time, my own healing, and my own sense of peace. I invite even more peace into my life. Inviting in a gentle smile. And opening your eyes when you're ready. Mm. Thank you all so much for joining me 
in that grounding meditation. I hope that it served you as much as it served me. And before I go, I'd like to break down what that meditation was so you can take elements of it and make it your own and use it within 30 seconds or even less than that to just reground. So first, what we did is we took some deep breaths, conscious breaths. So being conscious of the inhale and being conscious of the exhale. That's what's really gonna slow down your system so that you can move away from survival and come back into your heightened, um, and your higher self, I should say. So breathing, breathing. The next thing that we did was gratitude, right? Focusing in on gratitude, focusing in on the blessings that are here, the fact that you are breathing, right? The love that is in your life, the ways in which you have connected to people, the ways in which you have reached out and the ways in which you've given that to yourself. So gratitude being the second. And then the third being connecting to your ancestors. Your ancestors are powerful and they're with you all the time, whether you know it or not. And their strength, their stories, and what they overcame is inside of you right now. So know that you are fully resourced to get through even this moment, even this moment of a pandemic. And then lastly, we called your spirit back into your body. One way to know if you've left your spirit in other places or if your mind is everywhere is if you feel depleted, if you feel burned out, it's because you're not fully embodied, right? So we called your spirit back into your body. And then we reminded ourselves of this deserving. There's something that happens around feeling not fully deserving of feeling at peace, not fully deserving of feeling calm in the midst of all of this. And especially for women of color, I found the sense of deserving that we have been trained to have is nowhere close to what we are deserving of, right? We are deserving of feeling every sense of peace and actually the healing that the world needs, I believe, is inside of us. And so when we're at peace, we can step even more into our gifts and lead the world into the healing that it needs right now. We each have a unique gift, a unique gift and role to play um, during this pandemic. And so when we ground back in, connect to our breath, connect to gratitude, connect to our ancestors and call our spirit back into our bodies, then we can be in the best alignment to take the steps that we're being guided to take. All right, so with that, thank you once again for joining me. It's always and always an honor to be in service. Take care.